didn't even know that it would be open Saturday, let alone Monday. So. That's right. Hello and welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft. This is Richard and I've been out here at Kilo Sierra pretty much all day. Uh, I've been roaming around on the trail collecting things. I've gotten uh, several several pieces that I want to use to make a basket. Uh, I got some water vine it's a little late in the season and it's it's dry and brittle but uh, I found a piece that uh, may work my wife was wanting some for a project and uh, I also found some foxtail grass that has seed on it so I am now proceeding to that area so that I can collect up a little bit of seed I think I found a little bit of a shelf mushroom here yep oh. Look at that. That would make a nice little candle holder or fire, something to hold a fire. So here's some of the, uh, the weed that I was using to collect to make my baskets. I started with this, it's really tall several of them but after a while I found this uh, honeysuckle here and I decided I was going to use these uh, sticks for that and it seems to uh, I think it's going to work better so we'll see I'm staying mainly on the, the actual bike trail and I also found this feather earlier kind of really cool looking feather so what I'm going to do is set that down I'm going to leave that stuff here while I continue down the trail to get to that grass that I found and on the way back if it's still there I'll be able to pick it up and if it's not I guess I'm really not losing anything because yeah all right so here's the first spot right here Yep, there's actually some seed coming off of there. Some usable seed. These, these aren't dry yet, but eh, there's a few in there. Looks like all the seeds already off of that one. Oh well.
here's a really good one right there. Oh yeah, that's the best one I've seen so far. So I'm not doing too bad considering that there's still another couple weeks before most of this is going to seed out. But I'm not doing horribly bad. So I've walked for about a half a mile and I've got this much so far. It's a good start, especially since, you know, like I said, I still got another couple weeks before most of it really dries up. I'll continue to walk around and uh, I'll go for about a mile and see what I can't find and once I hit that mile marker I'll uh, turn around and go back so here's a good example of what I'm talking about this one right there is good that's going to produce some seeds and I'll get that in a minute there's another one right there but most of them are still pretty green and again there's one that's nice and dry they're just starting to turn, like I said, another week or two, and I should be able to collect a lot more. Here's three really good ones. I'm excited about this. Look at this. This one right here. Oh, yeah. Nice. This one here. And there's one right here. Oh, that one produced a, several dozen. Looks like there's a couple more over there, so I'm going to go over and grab those. So for me today is the 6th of September and uh, this is the this is the very very beginnings of the foxtail seed gathering time uh, and and I've said it probably more than I should have or needed to but uh, for the next week or two I'm going to go to a few areas that uh, I have designated to uh, uh, go collect I have uh, two spots in particular that that I'm going to check on on a uh, couple day basis, and uh, when they become uh, collectible, then I'll uh, I'll go with those. Right now, I'm just walking down this trail, just on a just on a little walk, and uh, if I see them, I see them. If I don't, I don't. But uh, the two spots that I have set aside. For when I do go collecting it'll be specifically just to go collecting these seeds so uh, I do think if it's not too late on the way back home uh, I'm gonna check out one of those spots uh, on the way home and if it's not too dark and see if maybe I can collect some at, at that point or maybe I'll have to come back out there in a few more days and start collecting them because there should be some available now and uh, for the next couple weeks so if you're interested uh, at least for my area here in Indiana the uh, perfect time to start uh, collecting these seeds to make flour is the first week of September that's where 
uh, you can start seeing them. Uh, I would still wait until the second or even third week of September, but by then, uh, you're going to have to battle some birds, I'm pretty sure. Now, look at this. Here is here's a nice little area on the side here that, look at there, there's several, several of them that might be available for seed gathering. So... I'm just going to start collecting. I'll get back with you guys. Yeah, the only thing I got in there is a spider. Come on. Keep going. Come on, keep going. There you go. Here's a, a smaller version of those, and I think these smaller versions actually produce better seeds for what I'm doing than those bigger ones do. And here we go. Here's another jackpot. These are full of seeds. So I am almost at one mile from where I began and I plan on going the complete mile for for several reasons one there's another another patch of them and I don't see any that's turned yet no alrighty uh, the biggest reason is here at this mile marker uh, there is a road and the road opens up to a field and a lot of times this uh, foxtail grows around these fields and the farmers won't cut it down because it's close to the soybeans or the corn so they don't want to damage their their product so they let it just grow so I'm gonna go down here to this to the mile marker go over to the field and see if maybe if I get lucky uh, there will be a bunch of uh, foxtail here and even if I don't get a lot today at least I'll know it's there and I'll know that I can come back here in a week or two and start collecting and again I'm passing up another another batch of it none of it is ready yet but it's getting there so here's a here's an opening where we can see the field and as you can see maybe there you go see it's growing out there look at that look at that so I just have to walk a little bit further yeah. right there so you can see the trail and then it leads to this wide open space here and it leads to a, a lot of these foxtails And they're starting to turn, but not quite yet. So, still green. And they grow really well right here in these fields. As you can see, look at all these. They're still all green. So uh, we'll have to come back again in a week or so. Let's head back. So this is the mile marker from where I started anyway. So it gives me a little bit of a walk. And I know that I can come down here. Look, somebody left a... Stevie Ray Vaughan. The greatest hits. I wonder if that works. So we'll have to check that out. Here's something that's interesting. This railroad tie used as a fence. There we go. These things. This, this would make a nice striker for a, a, 
flint uh, maybe flint or something yeah I think I'm gonna keep that and make a striker out of it well I just had a very bad experience I was uh, getting this and uh, I dropped the camera and it split open uh, luckily it popped back together and clearly it's still working but I can't do that too many more times this thing is as bad enough as it is and I don't have a, not gonna have an opportunity to get a new one anytime soon so anyway I think that's gonna be it for today uh, I have a a nice little mile walk back to uh, where I started at Camp Kilo Sierra and uh, that'll be that so thank you guys for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors even if it's just your own backyard Okay, real quick before the battery dies, this is how much seed that I gathered up. Alrighty, the battery's been changed. Just found some elderberries, although there's really no elderberries left. Birds have got them all.